Okay, here is your video instructions for making a rotocopter. To start, here are the supplies you will need. You'll need a ruler that has inches on it. You'll need some kind of a pencil or pen. I'm using a Sharpie marker just so it's easier to see on video. You will need a paper clip. If you don't have a paper clip, you can use tape, but the paper clip is what you should have. And finally, of course, you will need a pair of scissors. So get those supplies and then we'll start. So the first step of what you're going to do is you're going to measure three inches on the long edge, or sorry, the short edge, my bad, of the page. And mark three inches from the short edge of the page in a few places so that you can draw a line knowing that that line is three inches from the short edge. There's our line. So once again, if I take a look, this is three inches away from the short edge of the paper. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut along that line in order to get a smaller strip of paper that is going to end up being our rotocopter. So I'll just carefully cut along that line. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight, doesn't really matter but it should be close. We're gonna set this other piece aside. We no longer need it. Next step, we're going to take this and we're gonna fold it in half. That is simply to find the halfway point of this paper. We'll make a crease. Now we'll open it up again. I'm going to draw a line where the crease is, just so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Next step, I'm going to measure one inch from that crease. I'm going to measure it in a few spots here, a couple of spots, so then I can draw a line and know that it is exactly one inch from that crease that I made earlier. Now I'm going to make a marking on that line I just drew that's one inch below the crease and I'm gonna make the marking at one inch and at two inches. I'm gonna go down a bit and I'm again going to just line it up with the zero on the left hand side here, and then I'll make a marking at one inch and at two inches. Effectively what I'm doing here is cutting this section into thirds. One, two, three. I'll then draw the line between my points. So this line is one inch from here, and this line is one inch from both the right hand side as well as this line. Essentially what I've made is a T. I'm now going to cut in two places. I'm going to cut right here. And I'm going to cut right here. So I've just cut along those lines, so now these can be bent. I'm going to bend one of these pieces forward, like that. And I'm gonna take the other piece and I'm gonna fold it along the back. Effectively what I have now is this zigzag pattern Okay, and that's all tied up. And finally, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this about an inch up, like that. So once again, I've zigzagged this. One of the flaps that I cut goes forward, the other one goes to the back, and then I've taken about an inch 
and I estimated this, but I'm guessing it's right on that inch line. Yeah, it is. And I've gone up like that. And now I'm going to put a paper clip on that flap. If you have tape, then instead you would actually just tape around here. Okay, so you'd tape it around in order to keep that flap in place. Last thing we need to do is to cut the rotors. So I'm going to measure at one and a half inches. I'm gonna flip it over to where my line is. At one and a half inches along the crease line that I made. And then I'm going to go at one and a half inches along this crease line, or not crease line, sorry, but at the top. And all this is doing is dividing this section in half so I'm making two equal um, blades for my propeller. I'll cut along that. Okay, so I've cut along that line. One is gonna go this way. And the other one is going to go like this. So looking at the top, this is what I've got. Here it is from the side. Here it is from the bottom. And if you drop this, it should twist as it falls. All right, that's the tutorial. That's how to make a rotocopter. Hopefully that helps.